having a year in this defense, how has maybe Jeremy and now Coach Ansley really challenged y'all to take a step forward in year two? It's been real good. It's been real good. I'm more so seeing the guys on the team challenge each other, holding the guys to like holding the guys, we're more accountable to ourselves, and I feel like that's what's really helped us out this year. Just knowing what we need to do to be great in this defense. We know what the coaches want, what they preach each and every day. So I feel what, like that's what's helped the most. What, what do they want? What were some things maybe that they, that they outlined before the spring that they wanted you guys to, you know, specifically say, hey, we want to target these two or three areas of improvement. Just everything. Just being able to go out there being comfortable. That way we can minimize our mental errors and everything. So. How would you describe that on Saturday? Were you, you guys pretty mentally sharp, you think? Or were there quite a few mental mistakes to clean up about what you thought it would be for a first scrimmage? Kind of where did you think it was mentally? I felt like it was good, but the offense was they were running some really good plays as well. And uh, Like I said, the quarterbacks were doing a real good job of controlling the offense, so they were doing some real good things that the, the whole defense has to clean up on. Did you get a sense this is going to be a more physical offense in year two under Pruitt? Uh, I feel like the whole def- I feel like the whole team is going to be more physical. From the weight room, I see how hard the guys work in the weight room, how much they've been running. They've been doing a real good job of that. And uh, credit to Coach Fitz and uh, the weight room staff. So yeah, I definitely feel like this team is going to be more physical. Daniel, anytime the offense doesn't turn the ball over and they protect the football. You can flip it over and say the defense didn't force turnovers. Yeah. Is that something Coach Brewer is kind of harping on at all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And <coughs> coaches, Coach Ford harps on that all the time, getting the ball out. Uh, you can't win if you don't have the ball in your hands. So, yeah, getting to that ball is definitely something we need to do this year. Daniel, Coach Brewer talked yesterday kind of just how much competition there is on, on this team between the offense and defense in, in certain positions. Just how, how can you sense it, it, how much it's changed since last spring? Uh, yeah, guys really want to play. They're real eager. Like I said, the young guys that have came in, the older guys that have been here, they were eager to be out there, help the team out in any way. And I feel like because of that, the competition <laughs> on the field is it's really solid. You said the, the winners of practice get to watch the losers run. Is that something that you guys are trying to avoid having to run after it's, practice? It's definitely something we plan on plan on avoiding after practice. All the running we do during practice, I don't want to run after. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the extra running that the, that the losing side has to do? Uh, some gassers. Yeah, just some gassers, sure. What's got time the, for two more. What's the scoreboard sitting at in spring practice so far? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I don't pay attention to all that. I'm just out there trying to make plays for my teammates. Which, which side taunts the other one more when the other one has to run? <laughs> it depends how well whichever side is doing. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.